So a number of people have bought these uh, little Sony action cams, they're pretty good as alternatives to the GoPro. The problem is, if you have a drone, it's getting a gimbal to mount them. Um, because you can't just get a GoPro gimbal and hope it'll work because they're tuned for the weight and uh, balance of the GoPro cameras. So uh, some guy has come up with a, three, a design for it which you can 3D print off and as you can see there's basically two L-shaped arms. These are printed with a 3D printer in some kind of resinous plastic and I'll give you links and information where you can buy these if you don't have a 3D printer or where you can download the patterns. So the gimbal is basically two arms, a holder, also 3D printed, uh, and a little platform for the gyroscope. In addition you need a couple of stepper motors, gimbal motors here, they're about $13-$14. Dollars. And on the back this is the Arduino open source uh, gimbal controller. And the way I've mounted this, so in addition you'll need some 3mm nuts and bolts. And I've mounted this, I've actually uh, recycled two old uh, plastic uh, credit card, business card type things. Glued one on the back and then uh, left it fairly open. This is just for protection and also it'll help with cooling. And around here, the other thing I had to do is open up the case of the drone, which means removing the screws here, bolts here, Allen keys, they're 2mm Allen key bolts. Uh, a little um, crosshead screw, another Allen key bolt which is quite hard to get off here, it's easy if you don't have the legs on. You can then lift off the top once you've taken all those bolts off. And uh, I soldered on a little power lead here. So this is, this is coming directly off the 3S battery from the, uh, from the drone and going into the board. And then we have here uh, roll and pitch motors that plug in here. The other thing to note is there's a little USB port here because you'll probably have to put a firmware onto your board and you might have to do some adjustments. Now I'll give the, uh, the values that I've used on my board a bit later. Uh, I'll, I'll put them at the bottom of the post. So the first thing we'll do is plug this in and uh, be very careful to get positive and negative around the right way when you uh, wire up this gimbal board because you'll blow it if you, if you don't get that right. So here we go, we plug it in and uh, I'll keep the battery out just for the second and you see that the, the gimbal is just booting up now, it takes a little while and uh, you'll see a little blue light inside. So it looks like it's all working okay. So I'll put my, uh, I can get it inside. This is uh, not the standard. DJI battery. There's some I got from a reseller with thicker cables, just to make life tricky. They see the go the um, the actual uh, gimbal is ready now. It has to all be balanced. If if it's slightly out of balance, the little motors won't correct that. They're just there for repositioning. And uh, if you look, you'll see that as I tilt the drone left and right. It keeps the the camera level. So it gives you a much nicer shot. The other thing is the whole thing is too small for the standard legs. You can either buy longer legs but the reports are they're a bit fragile. You see the great thing is it sticks out way beyond the legs unlike the GoPro versions so you don't uh, you, you might get a bit of a propeller in your shot but you won't get the legs in the shot. So to get the height I put a couple of bits of insulation with uh, cable ties on 